Enjoying Vegas this summer, Memorial Day? I can't yeah. handle the smoke. It drives me nuts. The dry, the dry, whatever. How you, how you feeling, man? I feel good. It's been good. Are you banged up? A uh, little bit still, like my shin's still banged uh -huh. up from the kick. So. What are you looking at? Um, you know, I really don't know. We haven't, we haven't, we really haven't talked about anything. So we're just kind of waiting to to hear what they say. I think we're gonna find out tonight. Yeah. So after the fights, we'll kind of, I think we'll have a good idea. But in, but in terms of how fast you'd be back, I mean, um, I'm open soon. I just had surgery on my elbow, my knee last two weeks ago. So everything's went good. Everything feels good. I mean, realistically, I think we're just waiting to see what happens tonight. I've seen a few guys call you out on Twitter since the fight, like Diego Sanchez, and uh, it's been a few different fighters. What do you think about that since the Nate Diaz knockout? I said, I said this to someone the other day. I said, do you think the lion turned around every time a little dog barked? No, <laughs> I'm not really too concerned. I'm not really. I'm focused on one guy who's. I'm, fo I'm focused on Benson. That's it. I don't really care about everybody else. So, but I said, I told the UFC when, before when I came over. I said, whoever you guys want me to fight. So I can line up to fight Benson. That's who I want to fight. They threw me Nate, so I beat Nate, and hopefully somebody else is next. Do you think the Gilbert Four rematch, uh, I guess quadruple match, is coming anytime soon? You should ask Gil. I don't think, I don't think Gil wants to fight me again. So I mean, I think I think we kind of both, unless it's for the title, I really see no reason for us to fight. You know, our first three fights were for the title. You know, I mean, we just always met at the title. I figure we'll probably meet there again one day. You know, Would it feel right if that wasn't in San Jose. <laughs> it wouldn't feel right. It'd be, I think San Jose would be its the hotbed for us to fight again. I mean, I feel bad because the other fans don't get to see it live, but, you know, if him and I fight for a fourth time, it'll, it's best it's probably in San Jose. But like I said, it's not our call. It's, it doesn't matter where we fight. What'd you make of Luke's fight with Vitor? What do you make out of that, you know? Uh, I don't know. I feel bad. You know, I don't want to talk about it. How about tonight? You got Kane on the main event there. Yeah, we got a good group of guys fighting tonight. So we got Khabib, we've got uh, Gray, and we've got Kane. So all three guys had real good camps. Um, all of them are ready to fight. I mean, honestly, I really don't see any of them losing. I mean, definitely not Kane. Khabib was looking a little fired up yesterday. Did you get to speak to him at all? And it's a very emotional fight. He's very emotional. He's, uh, you know, he's he's ready for this, and you know, he. Um, he had a great camp. They all did. Gray, Gray looked phenomenal his whole camp. Kane looked great his whole camp. I mean, everyone had a good camp. The good thing was our, our whole gym worked together during this time. I had my fight just a month ago. We were all getting ready. Luke had his fight coming up. You know, Kane, DC, the whole, like, it seemed like our whole gym's getting ready for fights. Josh, you talked in the past about being underappreciated for a long time. Do you feel like you made your point fighting Nate, or do you still feel like you have more to, you want to say? No, I don't have anything to say. No, I don't need to prove anything. I think my last fight kind of spoke for it. My days of trying to, like, I guess plead for like notoriety is over. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just want to fight. I want to fight Benson. That's the biggest thing, you know. If I if I get a title shot, it I could end my career and be done, you know. Like I want to end my career with a with my title shot and that's it, you know. And just get ready for whatever happens. Do you feel a match up against him? I think we match up pretty damn well. <laughs> it's gonna be a good fight. If we ever fight, uh, it's gonna be a good fight, you know. I think I think you could potentially see something like the Gill and Thompson. Thing again, you know, like that kind of that's stylistic. I think we, we put on a good show. Do you feel any vindication with the win? Because I think for a lot of UFC fans, um, one of those lasting images is the Eve Edwards knockout, and then you come in, you starch Nate, you, you, you make this great kind of reintroduction. You know, you've had time to marinate. How's it, how do you feel with that whole thing? He's that guy that brought up that fight from like 2004. <laughs> You're that guy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, not really. I mean, honestly, so much time has passed since that. I mean. I mean, uh, I really, honestly, it's like, it's it's, a, it's in the past, you know? If, okay, what were you, like, waiting to, like, get back to the UFC to be like, you know what, I'm sick of being on the Bob O'Reilly highlight, highlight reel. I want to get in there and make my own highlight I'll reel. I'll always be part of the highlight reel, you know? And then, I mean, honestly, I mean, now I got my other highlight on there, too. So, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's, it's always going to be there as part of being a fighter. You take chances, you know, there's you have bloopers in the NFL. It's what it is. You know, there's nothing you can do. You can't change it. You know, you got to get past it, otherwise you'll be stuck there and, you know, guys will just start smashing on you, so. I know you're doing some acting. Did you get any more offers after that win? Did your rate go up, anything like that? Uh, we have, we have, <laughs> we have another movie kind of in the works. We're, we're working on it right now to see if it's going to all come together. Probably not till January. Like I said, I'm really focused on trying to get the Benson fight. You know, I'm not looking at anybody else. I really want that fight. But you know that they're saying that the winner, you know, TJ and Gray could, could get next. Yeah, and I understand. I know. I'm still not going to stop my pitch. <laughs> what do you think you know? about Benson as a champion? Being that I mean, he's kind of mostly won everything by decision and very razor thin, very close decisions. It's it's hard, you know. I mean, like 
you're fighting the best guys every single time, you know, and you can't you can't really expect them to come out there and just dominate everybody. I mean, another thing is the rest of us are really good. You know, I mean, we have stacked guys in our division. You know, the, the heavyweight division's got stacked guys too, but I mean, Kane's just so dominant, you know what I mean? And, you know, Anderson, same thing. And it's like, but with our weight class, we've got so many guys, and you guys you guys talk about it all the time. The media talks, it's a stacked division. You know, one guy leaves and another, another guy comes up. Look at Khabib. No one ever heard of him, and all of a sudden he's just crushing people. So, I mean, you're just one fight away from being a footnote, you know? It's sad, but it's true. I mean, these guys are so good, and that he's not going to win every fight convincingly. So now how entrenched is Gray at your camp and stuff, and if the opportunity arose for you two to fight each other? Chance. I'll stop you before you even get started. Don't ask that question. We are not fighting, <laughs> okay? We're friends. Um, we'll be friends after my career. Um, we're not going to fight. You, you did say earlier, though, you, you felt like you're going to get news tonight about who I mean, might I'm be talking, next. I mean, yeah, who's next? Card. I'm assuming probably either, like, um, probably Cerrone if he wins. I just beat KJ, so I don't see that happening. Um, you know, obviously everything that happened, like Healy's probably gonna get suspended. Uh, Nate's out for I don't know how long because of his suspension or whatever. So I don't really see anybody else in the top 10 that I think they're gonna have to fight. Could be even Gray, right? we all train together. So, um, so you're looking at Cerrone as the, the realistic the only, possibility. Yeah, I think that's the only option they're gonna probably maybe give me if he wins tonight. If he doesn't win, then you know I've already beat KJ. You like that fight? I don't really care. Like I said, if it gets me one shot to the title, you know, it's whoever they want me to fight. Probably get you a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, the bonuses are great. I know that's one thing I actually I really enjoy. But like I said, you know, I'd rather give the bonus up for the title shot. You know, I'm not. What did you make of uh, Nate's comments after the fight? I didn't even hear him. I, I thought I talked to you the other night. You said you were a little disappointed. I just wanted you to tell yeah. our cameras and like, it, you still feel that way? Yeah. If you can make out the rambling on what was said, then yeah, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. You know, I mean, he's upset because he lost, and I understand. And it's just, it's the fight game, you know. I like the guy. I'm a big fan. I'm a Nate Diaz fan. That's what you told you me. You know, yeah. same thing with Gilbert. I'm fans of all those guys. You know, I, I love watching them fight, man. Like I tune in to watch those guys fight. Him and Nick, both. You know, so I got no hard feelings. It, it is what it is. Not a big deal to me. Like I said, I'm not focused on anybody else except for Benson. That's it. Did you like the way Benson fights? I like the way he fights, yeah. He, you know, it's just that um, I think I can beat him. I think stylistically, we're, we're a good fight for the fans. Did you, you know? happen to winning his last fight against Gil? Uh, actually, I didn't get to watch it that night because I was in the back doing stuff for the media and also with uh, the commission. But I actually just watched it probably about two weeks ago for the first time. And uh, I thought Benson pulled it off. Barely. I mean, but I thought he pulled it off. I honestly did. So... I mean, I, I would normally probably give it to Gil because, you know, we have a relationship and I want him to win. I want, you know, it makes me look better if Gil wins. <laughs> so, you know, but, uh, yeah, but I think, um, but I think, uh, I think Benson pulled it off. I mean, beyond it being for, for a title, if it were to be given to you, what, what intrigues you about that fight with Benson? Everything. I mean, stylistically, we're, he's a, he's a southpaw, but I mean, stylistically, we make for a good fight. Good stand-up guys, good grapplers, decent wrestlers. I mean, the fight's going to go everywhere. It's not just going to be on the feet. It's going to be everywhere. So I think the fans will full, get a full MMA fight. Before you mention it, you'd be cool if, if you, get, you get a title shot, you're good, you can retire after that. You're not thinking about no, that. No, no, I'm you? not thinking about retirement. No, no, that's not – I should rephrase that. I'm just saying that I feel like I didn't get my title shot back in 2004 when I, when I should have, you know. And um, just because of the circumstances, you know, the UFC got rid of the weight class after our fight with Eves. And um, – it's just that one thing that has eluded me, and I want, I want that, you know, and so I'm hungry for it, and I, I really feel that I stamp my name on the Nate Diaz fight, and I feel that there's one, maybe one fight away, or maybe the next, who knows. Two more. What's been the key to your longevity? I mean, you've been, you've been doing this for so long, you've been good for so long. It's funny you say that. Um, I talked about it all the time is that I think MMA guys, you need to be good at everything. And that's the one thing that I've been able to do is I'm a decent wrestler. I'm not a great wrestler. I'm a decent wrestler. I'm a decent stand-up guy, but I'm a, good, a decent jiu-jitsu guy. But, I mean, if somebody's really good at one thing, I can find ways to beat them at everything else. So I just try to avoid their one thing. You know, I was – Nate, I just avoided his boxing. You know, I knew he couldn't take me down because I'm a better wrestler. Submission-wise, I figured we're about the same, you know. And so I just had to stay out of his range of his boxing, and everything worked out. And so I think other guys, I've just focused on making sure that I'm always good. I think as MMA guys, they need to – you owe it to your fans. You owe it to the promotion you fight to, for to be good at everything, not just a grinder, not just someone who lays on you, not someone who just boxes. You, you As a fan or as a fighter, you need to give the fans what they deserve, and that means be a mixed martial artist, do everything well.
What's the thing you need to take away from Benson then? Uh, honestly, I, there's really nothing I can take away from. Him. That's why he's, you know, he's that step that that I am. You know, I feel like we're well rounded in everything. We're not great at it. anything. We're just good at all of them, and it makes for great fights. Last one. Josh, since we're on the topic of a longevity of career, so what are your thoughts on TRT? I don't really care. Yeah, I figure if my body can't produce it, then I don't need it. So, but it, it it's not. For, it, everyone's different, you know. If it's legal, use it. I don't care. You know, it's um, it's up to you on what you want to do with it. Um, like, you know, it, it doesn't make you a better fighter. It just makes it easier for I believe for you to get through your camps. You know, and if it, if there was a way for it to be regulated during your camp, I think that some people maybe are overusing it during camp, and then like the last two weeks. You know, they probably dial it down, you know, so they can pass their tests or do whatever. So I just think there needs to be more regulation on it if they're going to use it, you know. Maybe just, drug, you know, random drug testing during during your camp. Personal preference, would we ever see you explore with it? I'm 34. I could probably explore with it now, but I don't, I don't need it. I feel like I don't need it, you know. I mean, my camps have been better as I got older. So just learning how to use your body and take care of yourself. That's the best thing. Thanks, Josh. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys.